Hi, my name is Teila and I'm from the product team. In this video, I'll show you how to develop a connector for a Gmail mailbox that will ingest a suspicious email sent to your mailbox into your Simplify platform. Connectors are the entry point component that ingest external data to Simplify platform and can be configured in the connector model. Let's start developing the connector. The first step of creating your first connector will be to access the IDE screen. Click on the plus icon to add a new integration and give the integration a name. Then, add a connector by selecting the connector radio button. You can now copy the connector's code from the How to Develop Your First Connector guide and add the relevant parameters and their properties. In addition, we will define the product and the event field name. The product field name determines which value from the raw fields would be assigned to the product name of the alert. The event field name determines which value from the raw fields would be assigned to the event type field. For a detailed explanation of the script, access the How to Develop Your First Connector guide in the Developers Hub. Now that we have created our first connector in the IDE, let's configure the connector to the relevant mailbox. Navigate to the gear icon to open up the connector screen. Click the plus icon and then select the connector you would like to configure. In this field, you can define the interval you would like the connector to run. Fill in the username and the password and click the save button. Now, let's insert a test case to the system. We will open up a mailbox and send the email message template as shown in the documentation to the configured email. As you can see, the email you are sending is a salary notification email from Human Resource, which includes a malicious link. Make sure you leave the email message unread. Now, after sending the email, navigate to the testing tab and click the button Run Connector once. The connector will pull all the unread emails and ingest them into the platform as sample alerts. If you would like to see a preview of the alert, you can click on the preview button. In order to insert the alert to the system, select the alert and click Load to System. Then, navigate to the Cases tab and you will see the alert in the case queue, tagged as a test case. Congratulations! You have just successfully ingested a suspicious email into your platform with a connector you created. As you can see, the event lacks a visual context of the suspicious email event that has been sent to your email. In order to get a better perspective of the event, we will map the case according to the Simplify's Entity approach. The Simplify Entity approach is to create entities which are related to the event and define the relationship between them. This enables the user to easily understand the event and run actions on specific entity scopes. To do so, navigate to the Events tab and click the gear icon. This case describes the event of a suspicious email sent to you. Therefore, we will map this event by using a predefined model family. The event mapping is according to the product, and from now on all the event ingested into Simplify from the mail product will inherit the mapping we defined now for the event. Now, let's assign each entity to the relevant event field in the model family.
You can see the result of the transformation function by choosing the field and clicking on the information icon on the right. Once the mapping is done, we will simulate a case to see the result of the mapping and modeling. Each event that will be inserted to the platform from now on through this connector will be mapped accordingly. If you would like to automatically ingest cases into Simplify, enable the toggle in the connector screen and save. Congratulations for creating your first connector! For a more detailed explanation of the connector script, access the Start Developing Guide in Simplify Pack.